Metal Hurricane by Living Death off of their 1984 album Vengeance of Hell. Uh, I've never heard of Living Death before, but that was pretty rad. I like that song a lot. Heavy Metal Hurricane is a very apt title. We're listening to that today because we have a song from 1984 up in competition in the Thrash Bash tournament today. We've actually got a Metallica doubleheader going on today. Hi, my name is Bean and you're watching Battle of the Band. We're on day 62 of the Thrash Bash tournament, and that's the 62nd match in round one. Only two more matches after this in round one, and then we're halfway done with the tournament, too. If you're new here and you're wondering what we're doing, let me explain. We took the first four albums of the big four of Thrash Metal, that's Metallica, Anthrax, Megadeth, and Slayer, and we threw those... And we threw those songs into a single elimination style tournament. Now they're battling in head to head competition until one remains in the end, and that'll be the very best song to be produced by the big four of thrash metal in the 80s. Today we've got two Metallica songs going head to head. We'll be starting off with No Remorse, which was released on Kill 'em All in 1983. Uh, Kill 'em All is Metallica's debut album, and this one is a really like super thrashy song um it's almost seven minutes long well almost six and a half minutes long and it's about a soldier being sent to war to kill people um the soldiers in the song are supposed to kill without remorse that's how it goes the song does combine two riffs from one of their very first songs well two of their very first songs one called handsome ransom and the other called let's go rock and roll and that'll be going up against for whom the bell tolls Released in 1984 on Ride the Lightning. Um, Ride the Lightning and Master of Puppets, for me, when I was a kid, stood up as my two favorite Metallica albums. I really had a hard time picking one or the other, and I'd flip-flop all the time. And for, who, and for Whom the Bell Tolls is a big reason why. Of course, it's inspired by uh, the Hemingway novel of the same name. And uh, Kirk Hammett actually had an interesting thing to say about how it was written. He says, that was a key song for us. Again, that intro was a cliff thing. He'd play it all the time, and the rest of us would stiffen up and go, what the heck was that? It was completely his own creation. It's just this weird little chromatic thing. The note choice. It's highly unconventional, even to this day. Did anyone ask us to make the intro shorter? No. We were all 100% committed to every single note, every single beat. So that's, that's pretty cool. I didn't know that about that song. Uh, I don't know much about Cliff Burton in general because he was no longer with Metallica by the time I was listening to them. Um, but I'm glad they have like these tribute songs and things like that to him. Like songs I didn't know were tributes to Cliff, and it's kind of cool to know that now. Um, anyway, let's let's not get too sappy. Here's No Remorse.
pretty epic song. Um, definitely good. Definitely thrash-tastic. Really enjoyed the guitar solos in there. The vocal style was pretty cool. Um, I, I like when um, James does that vocal style. He doesn't pull it out very often, really, but the, the shriek that he does at parts of it, um, pretty cool. I also really enjoyed the instrumental break, like right before the f guitar solo around the middle, at, like where it led in, just a super like percussive guitar sound. That was really cool, too. That one's not as familiar to me as this one is, though, so let's see how it stacks up. Here's For Whom the Bell Tolls.
All right. Pretty fucking rad song. I love For Whom the Bell Tolls. That's one of my favorite Metallica songs. And I'm going to choose For Whom the Bell Tolls to go on into round two. No Remorse is a really rad song. One of the better songs off of um, Kill Em All, actually. And it's sad that I had to go up against For Whom the Bell Tolls in the first round. Um, kind of sucks sometimes when, uh, due to the random roll at the beginning of the tournament, a band cannibalizes itself. One of its uh, better songs goes against another better song, and then just, you know, we end up with one less good song. Great song. We've got social media if you want to talk about it. We've got Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. There's also a TikTok account if you feel like these videos are a bit too long and you wish they were shortened down. Check out the TikTok account. I'll link the songs and the tournament bracket down in the description of the video, but if you look down below me here, you'll see the tournament bracket URL has appeared, and you can type that into any web browser and check it out that way as well. We have a Venmo and a Cash app, and if you feel like donating to the channel, $10 will get you one of these No Ringo No Life buttons. Just make sure to include an address with the donation. Like this video if you like the video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share it with anyone you know who might be into this kind of competition, and let me know down in the comments which of these two songs you would have chosen if it were you in the hot seat today. That's all the thrashing and bashing we've got going on for the day, but please join me tomorrow when we do a bit more. And also, why don't you come chill out with us at the uh, Juliana Bartwick session that's going on right now. Hope you all have a great night, fantastic afternoon, and a wonderful morning. Thanks for thrashing. Thanks for bashing. Bye.